On our way up, there was a Vulture Peak Road, which we didn't go up, and then we went a little bit further and there was another road. So we took that road, and that's this road. And keep watching, what will you see what we discovered at the end of this road. We, we were actually hoping we could like keep on going up and get to the other side of Vulture Peak from here, but um, it dead-ended and lo and behold, oh my gosh, look at this. It said, Africanized bees enter at your own risk. No kidding. Why would they be doing this? I have no idea. Of course we kept going and we had to see and we had our windows open which was probably not the best idea so look they got all these different boxes must be doing some kind of an experiment I don't know but this was the end of the road it just kind of circled around and then um, there's some more coming up here Gotta be some kind of test station. Well, it's a good place. It's really out in the middle of nowhere. Who would go up there? And certainly nobody would want to stay there, that's for sure. Okay, so now we're just turning around and we're heading back to the main road, which is uh, Vulture Mine Road. Um, but instead of going to the left, which is what takes you to Vulture Mine, we're going to turn to the right and we're going to go back up that one road that we didn't take at first just to see if that'll take us up there. Maybe it's a better road. We don't know, so we'll check that out. Okay, so coming up is Vulture Peak Road. We're gonna head down that road and see what we can find down there. It was kind of a rough road. I mean, like, it wasn't really a very good road at all. Uh, there were a bunch of people camping along the way. Nice rigs.
Okay, this is where we had to stop and turn around. That road going up, which you can't see too well, was really rough. So these are just a few snapshots. I saw the mile one marker. I thought that was funny. Right. Lots of swirls. We're back on the main road. This was kind of amazing because <laughs> there's so many signs and arrows on this road. This is now the main road going up to Vulture Mine. It's actually really pretty, and um, I was amazed to see so many swirls in the desert here. So this will be a great place to go when they start coming in bloom. But I took more of this road because it's curvy. I suppose it's dangerous. People weren't paying attention. People go pretty crazy and go way too fast. So they definitely have the uh, arrows letting you know there are some sharp curves. Well, it's a pretty road. It's definitely a nice drive. We're going to go back and do it again. Spend some time, do some hiking. Coming up, there's a trailhead, which looks really interesting. And that's how you can hike up to um, Vulture Peak. Well, look at how beautiful it is. I know you can't really see too well here because we are driving and those mountains are way off at a distance. But... Um, it is gorgeous. You get a, a real good sense of the lay of the land out here. We didn't even know this existed because we hadn't been back here yet. So there's the trailhead coming up. Off to the left. Um, I didn't really get it here, but you see it a little bit better. On our way back, I took some more pictures. So that'd be a beautiful hike up there. Now I think I'll um, speed it up a little. Okay, so now we're getting closer to um, Vulture Mine. You can see it off in the background right there. We were a little bit late in the day, so we didn't actually go and take the tour. But I think that it would be interesting if you haven't um, toured a mine. We're from mining country up in Montana, so we've seen a lot of mines. But, of course, everyone's a little bit different. So anyway, here's just the entrance to, they call it Vulture City. And uh, this is the gate entrance. I think it costs like about $15 to go in. All right, well, now we're just heading back toward Wickenburg. So there you can see some of the rock formations on the other side by Vulture Peak. Just um, scooting on by again so you can kind of get a sense of all the cactus. There really wasn't any traffic, so to speak. So coming up ahead, that's the um, turnoff for the um, trailhead. So here's another memorial along the roadside. I 
add this going fast double time there's all those arrows again oh my gosh it's kind of crazy but I can see why they do it because people just don't pay attention there you can see some of the great rock formations off to the right which we just passed We did kind of run into a weird thing up here. I'm not sure if it's going to be on this video or not, but there was a, a guy. Okay, here it is right here. This guy, he came out and he uh, was waving his gas can. And I don't know, just being out in the middle of the desert, it looked a little suspicious to us. It was an old um, um, four service truck, an old one. And normally I think if we were in Montana, we would have stopped and, helped him out but we just I don't know I just didn't feel too comfortable about that so anyway this is just the road back to Wickenburg and all in all this trip is a short trip outside of Wickenburg you go to um, Vulture Mine Road and Highway 60 or Wickenburg Way is what they call it you know locally and um, you just turn off right there at Safeway and head on up some people are afraid to come out this way because, you know, there's been reportings of some kind of weird stuff, but I don't know, people do tend to um, over-exaggerate. So look ahead, you can see the mountains way off in the distance. Well, that's the end of it. I'll do some more when we go back. Thanks for